Oh. Son of a... How did this happen in my town? God damn it! The head and limbs were severed and lined up, according to the lines that were drawn with her blood. Just like migratory birds flying systematically across the sky. Hey, Zach, what do you think this means? They're severed roots. Severed roots? This is the way the Clarksons kill someone when they want to cut them off from the family. And how do you know about this? Everyone in town knows about it. They're just too scared to talk. What does the V stand for, then? Beats me. What, you think I know everything now? Yeah. V Latatio. What the fuck did you it say to me? It quarrel in Latin. Okay. That's what the V stands for. Latin. Intriguing, isn't it, Zach? Iletitio. There are no defense wounds on the corpse. In other words, Galena showed no signs of resistance when she was amputated. But, strangely enough, there are small traces of subcutaneous bleeding around the wounded areas. That's a vital reaction, which means she couldn't have been dead. Mm. You mean... Yes, that's right, Patty. Galena was amputated while she was still alive. And she never resisted. Is that even possible? It certainly isn't impossible. For example, if she was put to sleep with a drug, or if she desired the amputation herself. Why would she ever desire that? Mr. York, I'm sorry, but there ain't no way that could have happened. How can you be sure of that, Melvin? Our world contains phenomena that could never be explained with logic. This is especially true for phenomena in which humans are involved. Do you really think all the facets of love and hate can be explained with logic? He watches CSI check. Well, uh, no, I, I don't reckon I do. Yeah, might be too early to rule out those possibilities, just like you say. Zach, now we truly know just how deeply the Clarksons are involved with this. Patty, how long does it take to reach the Clarkson estate? Um, just a short drive. You just gotta head west along the Mississippi. You can't miss it. Got it. Thank you, Patty. By the way, Melvin, no matter how <laughs> accelerated Patty may be, don't you think she's still a bit too young to see something like this? For the record, I have no intent to instruct others on how to raise their children, but... Holy moly, you're right! Patricia, CLG! Come on, sweetie. The kids shouldn't have to see stuff like this. Daddy, it's too late now. <laughs> I mean, at least someone said something. Lena was murdered in her holding cells. The Clarksons were deeply involved. Quest updated. Can I go in there? No. You sure you okay, CLG? I'm fine. Besides, I'm used to seeing stuff like that on CSI. See? You're the one who looks pale, Daddy. Well, it did shake me up a little. But I'll be back to normal in no time. Uh, sorry about that, Mr. York. Yeah, I, I agree with what I'm not saying that uh, that wasn't me talking. That was the game talking, where I was like, she watched CSI. Yeah, that, that that's their excuse in the game, as you can see. Like, I, yeah. What say we rest in the interrogation room till we all calm down, CLG? Sure thing, Daddy. I'm gonna go sit with Daddy for a bit, Agent York. We can join back up later. Okay. She's gonna be the next Dexter? Dude. Galena killed her daughter, so her family cut ties with her. Dexter was a good ass show, except for all the incest stuff. You know, let's just ignore all of that happened. She mixed or adopted? Uh, half adopted. Uh, he's her stepfather. Do you really think that's what happened here, Zach? If this is truly the ritual that the Clarksons used to cut ties with someone, why would they go out of their way to do it here? 
in a holding cell. They could have easily done it after we released her. And judging from how Danny Clarkson was acting, I think it's clear that he really loved Galena. How could he accept this grotesque butchering, even if it was for the sake of the family? I still liked the ending of Dexter. I know a lot of people like shit on it. And I won't say what the ending is. Watch the show. It's really good. It's worth it. Um, but a lot of people shit on the ending. I thought it was all right. It, it wasn't like the best possible way that they could have ended it. But I still thought it was good. There's no point in ruminating But I won't say what this. it was. People should we watch should it. We should get back to good the show. investigation. As long as we keep moving, the answer will inevitably fling itself straight at us. It's one of those shows that I would say that everybody should watch at least once in their life. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So we gotta go to the Clarksons. I only watched season one. I think it's good. It's uh, The whole show is good. It just loses itself a bit at the end. I started watching Hannibal for the first time recently with my wife. How is it? Hey, Saray, how are you? How you doing, Doug? What's up, home dog? You don't, yes? Whoa, 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 whoa. You found the flying serpent, but now the flying serpent will come to find you. Yeah, that sounds right. And it looks like this flying serpent is a venomous one. Some become feasts, while others are eaten alive. Which fate would you prefer? Both sound marvelous, but let me check with Zack. A fine answer. <laughs> Find the one who fired the pistol at heaven. Within the white hall of beds, brandish the ticket to the goddess. Mm. And once again, you will see the other world. Do you comprehend the oracle? Zack, it looks like he's hell-bent on leading us back into that other world. Follow the Oracle. Oh, I will, Hoongan. There are only two types of things in our world. Things that should be resisted and things that should be accepted. And I believe this Oracle is something to accept. <laughs> Who do you mean when you say Dave? Oh, David Juara. Nah, he's too thin. Jawara is a thick lad. Ungen here is too thin. Do you think we're crazy for believing everything that skeletal gentleman says? Maybe a little. No, we're not crazy. Not one bit. This is our destiny, that's all. But I shouldn't need to explain that to you, Zack. Be a little crazy. Oracle decryption start. The one who fired the pistol at heaven. Firing pistols at the sky might be a rather common occurrence for the South. Remember? Young Guns, 1988, directed by Christopher Kane. There's that great scene where Emilio Estevez keeps firing his Colt M1877 up at the sky. Oh, but that film took place in New Mexico, didn't it? And the Oracle probably isn't referring to a situation like that. Rita? Unfortunately, Zach, you're wrong. Really? We need to find someone who fired their pistol straight at the sky. Mm. It's got to be for some purpose other than an attack or a threat. Raising a pistol up to the sky, then slowly pulling the trigger, kind of sounds like the start to a race. Don't you agree, Zach? Mm. I'm not sure about this one. Bingo, Zach. We're currently running a race here, and the one who started this murder investigation is indeed the one who fired the pistol at heaven. In other words, the person who first discovered the body. According to the files, Lisa's body was discovered by Chuck Thompson, a crawfish farmer. Oh, 
yeah, I forgot about that. He apparently works out of a fishing hut located okay. in the south All right. of the bayou. Let's go pay him a visit. Who knows? We might even get to see some crawfish. What? Why isn't the murderer the one who started this race? Zach, this isn't like you. Of course the murderer is running it. They're currently in first place, and they're breaking all the rules. Any more objections, Zach? Within the White Hall of Beds. This one is even easier. There are only a few establishments that have a whole hall's worth of beds, especially in a small town like this. I'm sure you've already got a pretty good idea about what the answer is, Zach. Beds all lined up. Only an amateur would hear that and think it must be referring to a brothel. I mean, come on. Who would ever use White Hall as a symbol for a bordello? No, a white house refers to the same place no matter what country you're in. You never disappoint me, Zach. It's a medical facility. Mm -hmm. They invite their patients into rooms full of beds where they're tended to by doctors and nurses clad in white. Yes. It's definitely a white hall where people are invited into beds. You always manage to impress me with your intuition. I got one wrong. I'm really counting on you here, Zach. And I know I'll always be able to. Thanks, bud. <laughs> He's gonna make me blush. I think I would've gotten 20 if I didn't get that wrong, but that's okay. Not that much money, it's all right. Agent York. What's up? You're trying to leave without your trustworthy assistant? You literally said to. Hello there, Patty. I'd never attempt such a thing. I was simply engaging in a battle of wits with Hoongan while I waited for you. Hoongan. Hoongan? Yes, the skeletal gentleman in the top hat. Not that story again. Is this how you always conduct your investigations? Yes. This is the way I work. I bet you can't find a single partner. Not even in the entire FBI. I actually have a partner. He's with me right now. It's me. That's not true. I always work together with Zach. Yeah, hi. Oh, right. Zach. Hi. Don't worry. I'll be your partner while you're here in our town. Now, let's go investigate. Um, excuse me? You'll be our partner. I can imagine why this would be very hard to explain in the FBI reports. They don't care as long as you get the job done, as they've said. So, that's why now that uh, Aaliyah is looking into it, it's like, what the fuck? Um... You ever been to this town's clinic? It's a scary place, all right? I'd stay clear of it if I was you. Huh? Bar's got a unique type of beer that I can't get anywhere else. Try it. I'll do it. I don't regret what I'm doing because I'm doing it just for us. No, I shouldn't be telling you this. Just forget what I wrote. Fire five items from the post box. Wasn't there another one? No, it was this one. Okay. Get some money. Let's save the game first because we just did like an hour and a half of content, so. All right, let's go. Hey, chat, what's up, dude? Notice how this game is placed in 2019 because it can't be placed in 2020. Like, like the future bits. Like, it takes place in, in, in 2019 because 2020. They couldn't put it on July uh, 13th, 2020. They had to put it in 2019 before the world exploded. As long as you don't take the dog one. Oh, of course not. No, never. No, 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 Never connected my thing. I'm glad no one did any dingles. Hey, Storminator, how you doing? I've been cutscened. Hi. How's your mama?
So, you're that hotshot FBI agent I keep hearing about. And who might you be? I came to claim the body of my daughter. My daughter, who was murdered in a holding cell after you detained her yesterday. Zack, I wasn't expecting to run into the final boss this early. <laughs> you must be the head of the Clarkson family, P.J. Clarkson. And you've come to claim the body of Galena Clarkson, whose dismembered corpse was found early this morning. Is that correct? Where did you learn that Galena had been murdered? Zack and I just learned of the news ourselves. This is Lou Kari. And I... I am P.J. Clarkson. There ain't a single thing I don't know about this town. I see. So then you must also know about the Severed Roots ritual. I have a question for you, Philip. We suspect that Galena was murdered by someone from the Clarkson family. Have you given that possibility any consideration? Listen up, you FBI piece of shit. You better watch your manners around my paw. Shut up, yes. Daniel. <laughs> but, sir. <laughs> my bad, sir. I'll have you know I once had three children. But I must not have raised them very well. Because my son and my eldest daughter both ran away and never came back to me. The only one who stayed by my side was my second daughter, Galena. Then she done married Daniel here into the family and presented me with both an heir and a granddaughter. Seemed for a while as if things were finally starting to calm down. But then, Someone corrupted both Galena and Lise. And I lost everything. Well, aside from my shit heel son in law, that is. You understand me, FBI? Galena's death is nothing but a loss for the Clarkson family. Doesn't mean the Clarksons are automatically innocent, though. Humans don't always act out of self-interest, do they? That mouth. You're starting to sound more and more like your mother. We're leaving, Daniel. What? But, but my treasure... Now, whether you end up being an angel or a demon, I reckon you're the man I've been waiting for all this time. Once you finish that autopsy and we're clear to take her home, I want you to give me a call. They're phenomenal, Patty. So perfectly rural. <laughs> Ominous statements, foul-mouthed insults, this town possesses a complicated system of communication that you just can't find in the city. Work-centric emails are so cold and lifeless. This is what true human connections feel like. Connections as visceral as blood itself. <sighs> so, Agent York, what's next on your agenda? The last boss may have gotten the jump on us, Patty, but I didn't let him shake my resolve. I intend to obey the skeletal gentleman's oracles, and that's that. First, we should head to either the home of the person who discovered Lisa's body or to the town's medical facility. Go to the med because it's closer. Well, Zach, what do you think? Med because it's closer. Um, right, thank you for the raid. Hello, how are you? How is Deus Ex today? It really seemed like you knew Hang who on. Galena Clarkson was. Well, I've never actually talked to her. But it's a small town. Pretty much all folks know who the Clarksons are. 
And Galena's supposed to be extra scary compared to the rest of them. Back when we saw her in town, now. I felt like she was glaring right at me. So I got real scared. No one will come out and say it, but I'm pretty sure they're all relieved that she was the killer. We're lucky the killer ended up being a member of the Clarkson family. Otherwise, the whole town would have turned into a battlefield. You've got a point, but did everyone really hate her that much? They didn't hate her. She hated them. She had this real peculiar way of treating people. I don't know how to describe it. Contemptful? Yeah, I guess that's it. She never opened up to anyone in town. She was rich, beautiful, and wanted to become an actress. So she went to a metropolitan city to refine herself. There's always a chance that people like her may develop prejudices towards those who stay in the countryside. A big chance, even. But just because a person has prejudices doesn't mean they'll go out and murder people. That's where my doubt lies. Was there any sort of omen which made people happy that she was the killer instead of someone else? I'm just telling you how I feel. How am I supposed to know if everyone else in town felt the same way? I never thought she'd actually go and kill her own daughter, though. There it is, Zach. It appears that her attempt to kill me wasn't simply a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Maybe she was sad. Sad? Perhaps. Instead of returning as a star, she was forced to come home after her dreams were crushed. That certainly sounds like a sad story, doesn't it, Zack? No, Agent York. Not that kind of sad. The kind of sadness that keeps folks away, hidden behind her attitude. Is there a word for that? Maybe it ain't in her attitude or her words, but the way she appears. Yeah. It's in her eyes. They remind me of someone. Who? PJ Clarkson? No, someone else. Hmm, I can't remember. That's okay, Patty. Just let me know if you happen to recall it later. Until then, Zach and I will help you think. Um, did I accidentally kill the man by knocking him out in the sewer and he fell in electrified water? Nice. So it sounds like you're having a good time. Uh, Storminator, I didn't know you were a storm chaser. Maybe you mentioned that before and I forgot. Uh, how long have you been chasing storms? Um, and also, I'm doing all right. Um, my favorite part of the DP series uh, are the people who think it's a bad game. It is a bad game. Um, it is a gem that is encased in rock. And you have to break through that rock to get to the beauty that is the gem. You get what I'm saying? You have to break open the, the ugly geode to get to the gem that is Deadly Premonition. And I recommend that everybody plays it or watches it for themselves because it is good. Chase Storm for three years now. Uh, do you like, what, what do you do with them? Do you just chase them for fun? Like what, what's the next step after you, you find the storm? Yo, I, I beat the shit out of these fucking squirrels. You didn't even twitch when you saw Galena's body. Why would I? Dead things can't hurt us, right? Girls your age don't usually think that way. Do you have kids, Agent York? No, I don't. I'm not married either. Then you have no idea how girls my age usually think. Besides, I'm used to seeing dead bodies thanks to CSI. Especially dismembered corpses like hers. Oh, you know, yeah. for a so-called profile and professional, you're pretty clueless. In that case, allow me to apologize. But don't you think it's a bit of a leap to discount my observational abilities? I disagree, simply because Gilroy. Corpses don't scare you. I don't know. I mean, you're completely wrong. Do you know what I was thinking back there then? Of course not. I'm not a pro. The same goes for me, Patty. No manner of pro could ever know a hundred percent of what another person is thinking, unless, of course, that pro has a mental connection with them, like Zach and I have. If I was telepathic, I wouldn't have joined the FBI. I would have taken over a small country or become a messiah. Now who's making crazy leaps? I will admit though, Patty, I feel like you and I have something in common. We definitely have similarities, even though they aren't as strong as the ones that Zack and I share. Whatever. Perhaps you and I grew up under similar circumstances. We're both unique cases. Huh? Unique cases? In your case, your beautiful mother's second husband became your daddy. Later. But then your mama got sick, forcing you to take care of things. Damn it! Hey, Agent. I was Noah. walking slow specifically to keep the conversation going. Fuck! Hey, Kiro, how are you? 
I disagree. I don't think uh, it's a bad story. I think it is an amazing story within a bad game. The gameplay is fucking garbage. I couldn't care less about the driving, even though it's derpy as fuck. I don't care about the little, like, zombie sections. I think those are really bad. Um, but the story was so good. And so far, it's the same story with this game. Just so you know. Although the combat is better. Pastor Sanders is gonna be a big pain in the butt. Good night, class. Have a good sleepy. I love you. Mwah. A big pain in the butt? That's what I said. But I guess you have no choice but to obey your oracle, huh? What else have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? Agent York, why are you asking me that? Discussing movies is one of the most basic forms of communication in our country. What time period do you live in? It's always been that way in every era. In this country, all dialogues always begin from films. Ugh. Says who? You're making me sick. Sick? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna puke. I know just what you need to do, Patty. What? Tell me what other movies you've seen on that sci-fi channel. Ugh. You're so annoying. Fine, fine. Um, I saw this one movie where a pretty lady and an old guy fight. And they were both robots. Ah, Terminator oh. 3. Rise of the Machines. 2003. Directed by Jonathan Mosto. I knew you were an Arnold S. fan. Alexa, add the entire Terminator series to the to-do list. I've added the entire Terminator series to your to-do list. I haven't seen any of them. Oh, you said it again. Oh, whatever. Arnie. I'm not a fan of his or anything, okay? He just happened to be in it. So, what did you think? I knew of the name Terminator. But it was my first time seeing one of those movies. What? You've never seen Terminator? Well, the first two came out before Listen. I was even born. I know, but come on. I'm working it's on Terminator. it. It's Terminator. I know, Boys I'm working on like it. it. But I'm sure most girls don't give two craps about it. Oh, but I know it was directed by the same person who did Titanic. Titanic? Oh, you mean Raise the Titanic. 1980, directed by Jerry Jameson. But he didn't direct Terminator. He's famous for Airport 77 and the Deadly Tower. Alexa, add you Airport 77 and Deadly Tower the to Deadly the Deadly Tower list. was based on the 1966 the Texas Tower Sniper Deadly incident. Tower I learned TV about list. it at the FBI Academy in Quantico. In the film, Kurt Russell plays Charles Joseph Whitman, the assailant. He really brought the character to life with an awe-inspiring performance. What's wrong, Patty? I'm just trying to talk about Terminator Damn. 3, that movie you saw, but you're not paying any attention. So be it. If you're not in the mood to talk, then let's return to the investigation. It's a shame, though. We really wanted to hear more about the films you saw, didn't we, Zach? Yeah, that was the point. That was the point. I was trying. I don't think she cares about all that. I haven't seen a single Terminator movie. You never seen Terminator? No, I have not seen a single one. Not a single one. It is on my list. I've only seen the first uh, Rocky movie, too. I don't like so, hospitals. I'm working on it. Why not? They soup folks up with medicine, cut them up, and then they try and act like they're your friends. Something ain't right about that, you know? It goes against the laws of nature. Plus, this is a church, so you got a pastor, a servant of God, actually playing God with his patients. I think you have a point there, Patty. These days we can neither determine death nor reproduce without the help of modern medicine. Yeah, our world's become quite an unnatural one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hi. This is Lucare. You need to watch where you're going. Or someone might end up tripping you. Now I understand why they were like, I didn't expect you to have so much prejudice. Zach, it's her. Get it now. The okay. stylish woman who watched Lise die. Into it. I've been waiting for you, lost lamb. Uh, hi there, pastor. Into it, think it was Would done well. Letting go of so me? far. I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. Maybe it'll be done poorly so later if you think it was done well so far. The Lord hungers. 
<sighs> Here we I go. can do that too. What? Pitiful. Truly pitiful, my little lamb. Uh, no, neither Zack nor I. Oh, so pitiful. So pitiful, just pitiful. The Lord hungers. One can of spam. One can of red beans. And one can of spinach. You are to offer up the taboo trinity. Taboo? Don't you mean the holy... Oh, how I pity you. Unlike us humans, the Lord never errs. Now, my pitiful agent, bring forth the taboo trinity at once. For it is the will of the Lord our God. Okay. See? I told you this was going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah. But Zack and I need to go after that stylish woman. Too late now. We need to obey God's will. Uh, the Lord hungers! Uh, Come on, hurry it up. We need to go. Uh, uh, okay. Well, Zack, I don't know what to say. First an oracle, and now an order from God? Maybe this is the trial that will yield the ticket to the goddess. Either way, it looks like we have no choice but to gather the taboo trinity. I guess it just goes to show that small towns are always filled with the bizarre and unpredictable. Okay. Hey, Zero, how are you? And hey, Yim, how you doing? What the hell is happening? Buy spam at Mel... Uh, mm, oh, mm, okay. We got, we got, a, we got a, a job list. All right, let's go. Could have at least put me outside. Feed me, feed me, Chet. Feed me. Someone's killing on the piano. Yeah, the music's really good in there. But when I walk up to the piano, nobody's sitting on it. Uh, it's a ghost piano. I don't like that in Sarah. It's okay. You don't gotta like everything that I say or do. Only most of it. That's required. Only most of the things. That's that's the only thing that's acceptable. It's a beautiful day, Patty. Really? Seems kinda normal to me. Now that you mention it, yes, it is a normal day. I just felt like saying that. What? You know, sometimes you really get on my nerves. Well, you know what? Just for that, I'm gonna teleport you into the void. Were you thinking about Galena too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland. With small towns scattered about here and there. That's how America... Uh, I'm just okay? Oh, I'm just, I'm just okay? Alright, alright, cool! Alright, moving on! I'm just all right. Let's just go. If this town has Found a city, yeah, no. it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges are truly a rarity. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. <laughs> Remember what happened there? That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims' tongues. You know, yeah. the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly decompose. As I drove him to the station after his arrest, he started lecturing me on the proper way to give someone a kiss. Anyway, back to Duluth. They have a famous lift bridge there called the Aerial Lift Bridge. The lift bridge here is the first one we've seen since then. But this one looks a lot smaller than the Aerial Lift Bridge. Its smaller size was most likely chosen due to the width of the river and the sea level of this area. The height and structure of a bridge is what determines which sort of boats can travel down the river. Normal bridges' base heights are set at a higher point so that boats can freely pass underneath them. But I imagine it would be difficult to create a bridge with a large arch here due to the river width and the sea level. That's why we're seeing all these mobile bridges such as lift bridges and draw bridges around here. As far as Louisiana goes, 
It appears that they've built mobile bridges over most of the bayous. Fascinating, isn't it, Zach? So many different types of bridges. I'm curious to learn even more about bridges now. Let's do some detailed research next time we get the chance. Okay, I'll give you, um... I'll give you, um, the, uh, the one, the, the game, the, the bridge builder game. Started that quest? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll get to everything eventually, don't you worry. We'll play, we'll, we'll play in game. We'll get to everything eventually. We'll get there. Do you carry any canned goods here? In due time. Canned goods? The vermin of the grocery store? Nay, I think not. Understood, Mirror. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Wait. Yes. Yes. I can see it. I can see the canned good thou seeketh. How intriguing. Well then, where is the canned good I seek? In a place where no man could ever peddle it. I see. In a place where it can't be bought from a person. Got it, Mirror. It was but a trifle, for the Lord hungers, doth he not? Okay. Zach, it's in a vending machine. It appears that God wants us to go on a wild goose chase all around town. Okay. I can spinach from a vending machine somewhere in town. Okay. Thou. Uh, I would like to look at your charms. Verily. What can I make? Can I make any of them? No. How about any of these? No. I can oh. see it. Thou hath. Can I buy a gun yet? Fuck. All its all items in our world consist of split into two categories. Oh, they said consist, but doesn't. The valley bull of it, which lacks about you. I am a special you. With the power to discern such. Among these items, once joined the five colored beads, value shall rise beyond any dream. Five colored beads. First, the blue bead. Name, ocean. Nay, the deep ocean. As blue as the deep blue sea itself. Second, the red bead. Its name, blood. Nay. Saint's blood bead. A bead as crimson as the blood of the proud saint. Third, the green bead. Name summer, nay. Indeed, the name is forest, nay. Meadow, nay, nay. What's the name of the green bead? It is known as the young leaf. It's the young leaf. As green as the new budding leaf. Next comes white, white as the fresh snow bee, as white as a pure as a virgin. All beads are joined. You've only listed four. Uh, you've only listed four so far. What? There are five special beads in total, right? So there are five. But you only listed four. Ocean. Uh, deep ocean bead. Uh, Saints. Blood bead, young leaf bead, and the fresh snow bead. Didst I not list the abyssal bayou? The black, it couldst took away every last ray of light. Never heard of it before, neither me nor Zack. Thou shalt gather all five colored beads. Gather me? Forsooth. Why? Thou art a human who perceiveth the thith. Who value art thou not? Meaning, I bestowed thee with knowledge of the five colored bee. Now only thou can determine thy next. Zach, he seems to believe these five colored beads are special. You know what I'm gonna say. I always agree with your opinion. Okay. Oh, 
up. I guess we'll look for beads. I don't think this guy realized that this is in the castle age. Yeah. He does. Then pick in Discord. I'll look with my eyeballs. Not there yet. Not there yet. I won't look with my eyeballs yet. You made poggers? Dude, that's fucking poggers. That's fucking poggers that you made poggers. That's fucking absolutely pog champion that you made pog champion. Oh. Dude. Look at this poggers poggers. Poggers. Do we need to go to vending machines? Is there like one around the corner or something? Thought there was. Yeah, it's fine, we'll find it eventually. We'll get it eventually. Hey, wanna talk about bridges? Why? I've become obsessed with bridges, Zack. And there's no turning back now. Remember what we saw on our way here? Back when we were driving that hybrid car before we switched over to the skateboard, we passed over the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the longest bridge over water in the entire world. Remember the sudden downpour that made it impossible for us to see the road? The rain was so torrential that we couldn't see more than a few miles ahead of us. Yeah? Is that the end of the topic? Is it because I went into the wall? Hey, Zach. No, yeah. nothing. Just felt like saying. Fuck that. you! Why is he like this? I know there's vending machines in there. It's got to be that bridge hanging over the body. Lift bridges are truly yeah. a rarity. Get off and get back on. Skip the convo. You've heard that before. One lollipop. Two lollipops. Three lollipops. Don't mind me, Zach. This is how I wake myself up. Oh, there, buddy. Skater Francis Morgan is a cool dude. Hey, Xerxes. How you doing? Frank, it, it's Francis Morgan Pro Skater 2, you know. Feel bad for Zach. He needs to listen to all this hubbub. We're Zach. Do you feel bad for us? Because we're Zach. Is this music different? Hi, I would like to do some bowling, please. Hi there, handsome. How's your day coming along? Bowlingly. Well then, show me what you got. I'll show you what. Show me what you got. Reward. I'm getting there. All right, let's go. This, uh, Mrs. Carpenter seems like a murderer, you know? Not wrong. 16. Easy peasy, dude. Beginner's luck. You won't see that ever again. <laughs> Go. That's frames, listen. Not known to be the most optimized of games. I think that might work out. Yeah! Got this, dude. 
fuck? Come on! I miss bowling. I miss Wii Sports. Uh, I think... Do 10 again. More aggressive turn. Oof. Maybe I should've went lighter than 10. I should've followed my gut. I haven't played in years. Yeah, I haven't played a real bowling in years either. You're not wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember the last time I went bowling without uh, her in real life. I can't remember the last time I played Wii Sports either. someone I was a kid, but I haven't done anything about that. Bowling? Well, we have potential to get a semi-pro, you know. That's not gonna work out. Did we go bowling competition when I was younger, but I think uh, that last time I went was like 15. Cool. Hey, Davis, how you doing? I was on my high school team? Oh, that's cool. Any cool stories from that? Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. Green peas taste so good in thoop. I haven't had thoop in a long time. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Watch Russ's stream of this just a bit ago. I, uh, I think I'm still behind him. I don't know. I haven't watched, been watching his stream at all. But I think, I'm pretty sure I'm still behind him. He started playing before me, so. Right, two strikes in a row, dude. Okay, well, not the way that I wanted it to work out, but I guess it's better than nothing. He's on second chapter now. I just entered the second episode. Ah, oh, shit, I'm on the wrong ball. It's fine. It worked out. It's fine. Had ramen twice this week, yeah? Shit. Is that a bad thing? You not want to have ramen twice this week? I take care of laundry, bear B. 369 nah, 39 <laughs> Oh fuck yeah mint gum I'm gonna go again I'll try one more time I am getting better I'm definitely getting better I'm definitely getting better uh just like the the skipping stones the skipping stones thing is like a special detail because there very much is a delay that I have to, like, learn how to control. Ramen is a depression meal? I don't relate to this. 
don't really have a depression meal. I just kind of engulf all food around me at all times. That's kind of my life. Damn it, I was on a roll. Come on. That was weird. Be ramen raw, does it become raw ramen? Raw, raw, raw ramen. That's all I got. I don't got more than that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to get it. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. God, I'm on a fucking roll. I really like this music. Ramen has become my no other food in-house meal. Yeah, I don't really like ramen that much. At least the ramen that I've eaten. Um, too salty. I need to try different brands and stuff. I need to eat real ramen is what I need to do. Um, I made more potato wedges last night, um, and, uh, I used the same recipe that I used before, um, but I, uh, I basically, I, I put less of everything on it, um, and, uh, they, they, they turned out really well. I think I'm gonna use a different method for the olive oil, um, what I was doing before is I was just kind of, like, spraying the olive oil on all of them. Um, I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna put them in a bowl and soak them in the olive oil. I think I'll get better results that way. Get them more, more coverage, you know? Fifth? Dude, this is a fucking good game. I've been doing good. I'm gonna fuck it up on these last three. Let's go. I'm gonna go fucking semi-pro. Let's go. Do you prefer this over the darts game from the first one? Oh yeah, the darts game from the first one was way too fucking easy. That was way too easy. Almost perfect game, yeah. Now we're coming to the bowling ground. You know, yeah. You know, honestly, just because I did as well as I did, I kind of want to go again. I kind of want to know what the curved talisman is. Acquired butter cookie. Fuck yeah. Acquired medium quality cloth. Oh, you get bonuses if you do extra good. Oh my god. I like bonuses. Makes no sense because it was working on my phone. Oh, I'm back after update my PC's Wi-Fi. Uh, wait, after updating my PC, my Wi-Fi suddenly works. Makes no sense because it was working on my phone too. Maybe it's, I don't think it's gonna hit it. Maybe it's just a time thing. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna hit it. Technology hates me. Technology's weird. Time to reset. Well, that's game. I give up. The fuck? Pulling 300 speed run DP to 80%. You know, honestly, I wouldn't be... Oh, it, hang on. Someone look it up. Is there a Wii Sports speedrun?
Does that exist? I'll check you. Yes, goddamn. I think I wouldn't be surprised, dude. I wonder what would even be the qualifiers. Like all, sp like top score all sports. I don't know. Got some ice cream. What kind of day? I don't think that's gonna hit it. I don't know. Actually, I think it is. Yeah, heavy ball. Seven minutes forty-six. WR. All sports. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it glitchless? People speed run anything. You're not wrong. Including burritos. In a sleep. Have a good sleepy dude. I love you. Mwah! Thank you for hanging out. Never mind. Oh. Never mind then. Okay. Redacted. Looks like you're toughing it out. Better go get some coffee. What is the one? I think it's because I go full power. Wait, I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I think I'm going full power. I need to get just barely under. They put me in a 10 speed run too. Oh yeah, of course, I never doubted it. I'm sure they're hella inconsistent. Ooh, that is not a g oof. Oof! Big oof! Ooh, worked out. Good night, dude. Have a good sleep. Yeah, I love you. Mwah, part two. Yeah, this wasn't as good of a game, but it's still a pretty damn good game. You still did pretty goddamn good this time around. Oof! I shouldn't have said anything! to see. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. God. Who is the one? Well, a buttload of spares is good. Wasn't a bad game. This could have been so much better. Here we go on the last one. Try not to leave any open frames, you know, but yeah. go again nah we'll come Keep back working later hard now handsome and never forget you have the potential to go semi-pro someday you mustn't let that talent go to waste oh I won't I dirty it up a little bit for the next person hi Ugh. The air out there don't feel right today. You feel it too, honey? Uh, order. <laughs> oh, coming right up, honey. I'll put my heart and soul into it. You could challenge her. That'd be cool. What do I gotta get? Oh, I guess I gotta talk to her. Oh, whoa. Alexis, okay, there you could go. Could I have some red beans and rice? Oh, my lord. Sorry, honey, but no can do. We only serve red beans and rice on Mondays. That's a meal you eat when you're busy, like folks usually are on Monday. 
It's been a tradition here in Louisiana for as long as I can remember. Wait, honey, don't tell me. You're the type who does your laundry every day? <laughs> oh. Tradition, Zach. This is it. The Deep South. Louis, we need to obey tradition here and come back on Monday. Okay. What day is it right now, I wonder? Uh, journal? Wait, what time, what day is it? How do I, oh, it's Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Yes, we'll be back. You feel the pain yet? It's fine. It's also Wednesday for us. We'll be fine. It's fine. I hit my microphone. It's fine. <sighs> fine. Got other stuff to do anyways. I know that if we go across the bridge, we'll probably see some of these uh, other side quests. I wish we could customize our skateboard. That's the thing that I really want. I wish we could do that. Other than that, like, we're fine. Oh, I already did that. So I guess it's a Were you thinking order. about Galena too? No. And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland. With small towns scattered about here and there. That's how America looks to me. Compared to the scale of this entire country, New York, Chicago, and L.A. are all microscopic. Yeah. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like when we were driving up I-15. It was a mirage. TV and movies dress up those mirages and broadcast them to people all around the world. Meanwhile, American women become fascinated by the gorgeous city lights and are drawn toward them. Whoops, I forgot that in a conversation. Well, I guess we'll continue that one later. Time for some side quests? I mean, basically. There's vending machines in here, I think. I think that's why it's leading me here. But we do have a bunch of side quests. Oh, Francis Stewart Morgan would be a character in Skate 4. If not, a mod should be made. And, uh, Pro Skater coming out... at the end of the month. Not the end of the month. What the fuck? The end of the year. Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Uh, let's go downstairs. I think there was a vending machine down there. Is this gate coming back? Yeah, unannounced though. Oh, not down here. Bump, bump, a dump, bump, a dump, a bump, a dump, a bump, a dump, a bump, a dump. Boom, 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 ba doom, ba ba doom, ba da ba ba doom, ba ba dum, ba ba dum. Um, yeah, they they announced Escape Four, but it's not. They don't have a release date. Like literally, the only reason I guarantee you, the only real reason why Skate got announced is because Tony Hawk got announced. Like all of these genres are are or this genre, the the skateboarding uh, genre of video games is dead for a decade and then all of a sudden all of them come back at once that's not a coincidence ea brought skate back because tony hawk was coming out and they seen the excitement that surrounded tony hawk and were like hey we can make money off of that and they announced skate 4 because skate 4 the announcement that they made at that ea conference wasn't hey skate 4 is in development it was hey skate 4 is happening which means Skate 4 is in a pre-development. So, it's in development now, but yeah. Why is this marked? 
Is it the van? It is. Oh! There's several sunburned customers only. I, I didn't want to read that. So, Mr. York, what do you think of my castle? Pretty cool, ain't it? I didn't know this was a store. I've been curious about it since the first time I saw it. You've got excellent taste, Melvin. <laughs> I dub it Lou Crawfish. I'll have you know, crawfish is pretty much its own food group in this town. I don't know, that's before my time. Since this store carries all the bare necessities you'll need for daily life, I reckon it was an apt name. Is that the Hoff? No, I would know the Hoff anywhere. If it's sundries you're looking for, <laughs> there ain't much you won't find here. Karen never stops talking about him, so. Bye. Bam is something that I need. What else you got? Aid kits, cola, the cigarettes, snackies. Ooh, a hot dog. Untan lotion, mint gum perfume. Interesting. Use this to camp outside, maybe extend material so it won't break easily. Okay. Clean the time fragrance, it can clean you up a great deal. Cool, cool, cool. Alcoholics, best friend, use this to completely sober yourself up. My inventory is full. I can't buy anything. Uh, I'll sell you three bandages. That's a deal right there. And I'll buy. Oh, that didn't free up you space. Well, anything? you're not only sure. Oh, whoops. As long as you ring this bell here. That's terribly convenient, Melvin. But I have one concern. What if a crime occurs while you're managing the store? Running a business and keeping the peace, both jobs require immediate response in times of crisis. I just can't see how it would be possible. It's actually pretty easy, Mr. York. But what if a criminal who just robbed a bank came here on his way home and bought up all your stock? Oh, I like the sound of that. You want to make me rich? Hey. How about you just buy up the whole store while you're at it? I'll never let money stand in my way. It's not the boss of me, for I am the last shopaholic. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. Melvin, that was a serious question. <laughs> really? <laughs> Could have fooled me. Not even the Clarksons would do something that crazy. No point in preparing for something that'll never happen, right? After all, this is Lucare, the tiny forgotten town in the middle of southern nowhere. Get it, Zach? It's Occam's razor to a T. Melvin, I have to say you're a very balanced man. Now I feel confident that the Woods household will do just fine, even if you end up losing your job as town sheriff. <laughs> you sure are a joker, Mr. York. I think he's gonna end up dying before this game ends. That makes me really sad that I, I feel that I have that feeling. How is this guy the sheriff in a town where like no crime happens? Hey Spudkiss, how you doing? I have to go put any, uh, items in storage. I do not need this many first aid kits. I mean, take that out. That two? That's all I need. That'll wait too. This is from that fight. That's why I have all of these. Hold all this. Back to the top. Two. One. Okay, cool. Fine. No big deal. Protection and lotion that fights off the strongest of UV rays, but only for a short while. Fine, I don't need that right now. I'm trying to get sunburned. Everything in town is fucking. Or if you're sunburned, what's the point of being not sunburned, you know? I mean, try to get sunburned, but like. Do I have... Do I have antidote? My inventory right now? I do not. 
11 slots is good. Eh, let's put that away. We don't really need ammo right now. I, th I think 12 slots is, is, is pretty good. Doing chill. How about you, Insane Man? I'm doing all right. Oh, you know, huh? as good as you can do in this year of our Lord 2020. The year of our Lord, because this is the year that he punishes us. <laughs> Can't you only be in the jazz club if you're sunburned? I don't know that yet. I haven't been there. Spoilers. You'll see. I don't know yet. We gotta we gotta we haven't even like been to the that area yet. And the getting punished, alright. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, leather club is two blocks down. Okay. Bye. Bam. Okay. All right, that's all I need. Mr. York. Spam, huh? You a pot of meat kind of guy? No, Melvin. I've simply gotten myself tangled up in a little mess. Oh, I get it, Mr. York. The Lord hungers, right? Yes, apparently the Lord is starving, and I'm a lamb with no sense of direction. I like that even he knows. All right. We got one more stop. Hey, Zach. No yeah. nothing. Just felt like saying that. Uh, not gonna acknowledge this man at all. We're just gonna. All right. Hey, Patty. What, Agent York? Nothing. Just felt like saying that. Not gonna acknowledge the, the man in his underwear. Just gonna move on in life. All right. Okay, it's a thing. Not kidding. Stop giving me details about the future. I don't want to know shit until the game tells me. Ooh, What'll happen? Balloon will pop. It'll be over. It'll be over for you. I'll piss on your mum. What? What? Popping the balloon. Poping the balloon? Is there a vending machine in here? Wait. But I thought there was. Oh yeah, it's down there. Never mind. It's downstairs. I walked right past it. Can I buy things from you? Very good, sir. Please come right this way. Can I buy a suit from you? No. That's unfortunate. You can buy a hot dog. Serving you is my greatest pleasure, sir. Please do let me know if there is any other way for me to assist you. Yeah, you gotta get those special glasses. This vending machine does not carry what God seeks. Let's move on, Zach. Okay, how about this one? Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Okay. Let's try somewhere else. Okay. 
Well, that's about all the vending machines that I know about in town. So, can't give a cracker to Polly. I miss Polly. Well, you check the map. True. True. Might be there. Might show vending machines there. You're right. I think we'll just ride around and find them randomly. We have another quest to do and a bunch of side quests, so. I wonder if it's random where they are. There's some waypoints. We can just, you know, look around while we're riding. Bar our eyes open. About to yeet a printer. Become your own printer. Is the man still standing there? Yeah. We. That's a sheriff station. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town yeah, is but I had to do it to the streets are had to give them a little spank. so cleanly that we can scale I mean, what? them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons truly do control this place, for better or worse. It's a good example of how allowing certain people to rise to power can have positive effects as well. Also, don't you find that Southern people are remarkably friendly, even to total strangers? Southern well, hospitality. In New Orleans, I've been amazed at how cordial everyone is. Is it just the way things are down here? You certainly don't see that sort of thing in New York or D.C. They never stop to chit-chat, especially when ordering food. They only say what's necessary without any decoration. The customer only makes eye contact with the waiter about once every three times they interact. But that's just how it is. Isn't that right, Sam? The human relationships here are as fluid as an inorganic mechanism running on the smoothest, purest oil there is. And it feels strangely comfortable. After spending time in New Orleans and coming here, I think I'm starting to like the Southern disposition. They even have their own breed of bizarre crimes. And besides, the New Orleans area is famous for its paranormal culture. I'm sure it'll entertain us somehow. It's still a bit of a ways off, but perhaps we can also do a little case study for our post-retirement plan. What? You still think it's too early for that? I wouldn't say so. It's never too early to be prepared. Come on, I know you're with me on this one, Zach. If someone doesn't say bless your heart in this game, I'm gonna riot. This is the deep south. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? That man just popped in. That man is a fucking ghost. The campsite? Not a compliment, no. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution. That had to be explained right to me. To one Louisiana. Day. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand, and Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about oh. Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened if we had stayed in D.C. They would have given the case... Yeah, shut up. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted. Shut up. I kind of wasn't expecting 
there to be a uh, vending machine in here, but I want to. Oh. Fuck yeah, my guy. Zach, you're a coffee person, right? No, no. sugar, only milk. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, I'm not at all, actually. And even if I was, it would be the exact opposite, because I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't drink the milkies. So, what do you... Hey, Haley, how you doing? Hey, want to talk about bridges? Why? No. I've become obsessed with bridges, Zack, and there's no turning back now. Remember what we saw on our way here? Back when we were driving that hybrid car before we switched over to the skateboard. We passed over the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the longest bridge over water in the entire world. Remember the sudden downpour that made it impossible for us to see the road? The rain was so torrential that we couldn't see more than a few miles ahead of us. I'm sure local drivers are used to that sort of thing. They were all going normal speeds. I bet that scene reminded you of a certain film, or perhaps a certain person. Violent City, 1970. Alexa, well, add Violent City Sergio to the to-do list. I only ever saw it on TV I when I was a kid, so I don't remember it very well. But I definitely remember that it featured a bridge, a long bridge. During the New Orleans part, that's the one thing I remember. That bridge must have been the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. And the film starred Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. What an amazing sound. You couldn't possibly find another man whose name matches his appearance Charles so Bronson. perfectly. Yes, yes, of course I know that Charles Bronson isn't his real name. Charles Dennis Buczynski. That's his real name. But he's Bronson. Period. Zach, what's your favorite Bronson film? Death Wish? The Magnificent Seven? Rider on the Rain? Or Farewell Friend? The Magnificent Seven. Pieces. But to me... Fuck! Dang it, that was a conversation that mattered to me! Dang it! That was the one that mattered! I cared about what he had to say there. I'm sure I'll say it like eight more times, it's fine. They're UFOs. They pop like balloons, but they're UFOs. Uh. Can't hit that one. Come on. All right, fine. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges are truly a rarity. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. Remember what happened there? That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims' tongues. You know, the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly decompose. As I drove him to the station oh. after his arrest, he started lecturing me on the proper way to give someone a kiss. Anyway, back to Duluth. They have a famous lift bridge there called the Aerial Lift Bridge. The lift bridge here is the first one we've seen since then. But this one looks a lot smaller than the Aerial Lift Bridge. Its smaller size was most likely chosen due to the width of the river and the sea level of this area. The height and structure of a bridge is what determines which sort of boats can travel down the river. Normal bridges' base heights are set at a higher point so that boats can freely pass underneath them. But I imagine it would be difficult to create a bridge with a large arch here due to the river width and the sea level. That's why we're seeing all these mobile bridges such as lift bridges and draw bridges around here. As far as Louisiana goes, it appears that they've built mobile bridges over most of hey, the We've already heard this. Fascinating, isn't it, Zach? Yes, Dix. How's the investigation coming? Must be going well if you're on the case. I can't believe there was another death so soon. 
Wow, what a what a shot. Are you used to this sort of thing, York? Honestly, I'm having a bit of a tough time. I never thought I, it'd be such it'd be this hard to go on being optimistic. How's the investigation coming? My oh, is this me saying? Okay. I don't want to be backseated, but have you done the shower quest? I started it, but I didn't finish it. I couldn't find the valve. I looked in the bathroom, um, but it wouldn't let me. Uh, it wouldn't let me do anything. Um, I can go back and do it and look harder. Uh, okay, the f hardcore parkour patio over here. What the fuck? What are you doing up there? What just what just happened? Are you okay? Did did, did that hurt? Like wh what? What? Can I go inside? No. Where are you going? Can I walk inside too? Oh, I can. Good night, Artie. Have a good sleep. Yeah, I love you. Mwah, it's How's kind of vital. Coming? Need to fix it. Must be going I'll well go if you are on the it. case. Oh, just stay back. All right. Back. Well, I'll right, be waiting. Bye, bye, bye. I'll go back and do it. I assume it's at the hotel, right? I'm not going to look that up. I don't need to... To be that far back seated, but I, I can go back to the hotel. You know, back and forth with talking to Dave. Okay, I'll go back and do it. Uh, not right now, not instantly right now, but I'll go back and, 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 and talk to him. Thank you. Zach, you're a coffee person, right? No. No sugar, only milk. Yes, I'm completely with you on that one. I mean, like. I would like to go no sugar if I if I did do coffee, simply because. I'm Were you not thinking about Galena too, healthy, but and all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states? Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. No, it's fine, Dick. Incredibly vast, and it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland. I'm saying I don't want to just look up the small towns scattered about here the and there. That's how America looks to me. You know? Compared to the scale of this entire Thank country, you. New York. Chicago and LA are all my Z. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like when we were driving up I-15. It was a mirage. The TV and movies dress up those mirages and broadcast them to people all around the world. Meanwhile, American women become fascinated by the gorgeous city lights and are drawn toward those illusions. The very same women who were chosen as prom queens in their small towns. In the end, all they find are ghosts. Once their eyes adjust to that blinding light, they realize there's nothing but vanity and lust surrounding them. They finally figure out that it was all in their more, heads. Right? Then they quickly try to satisfy themselves with something else. Drugs. Oh. And drugs are the gateway to a whole pantheon of crime. Zach, remember what you told me once? The women who turn to crime aren't the evil ones. The drugs aren't evil either. They're nothing but chemicals. The ones who feed off those women and use them. They're the ones to hate. Let's go, Zach. We need to find the person who's hiding behind Galena and drag them out into the blazing southern sun. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just walk right over that. You know, walk right over those tires. I've never Zach, been here. Zach, it I appears to be out. closed. Let's come back during business hours. Okay. I mean, okay, I have the fast travel here now, so I don't have to walk anymore. And I can search their garbage, so you know that's good. Okay, listen. Wasn't the brightest idea. Can I go in the back? Oh. Ooh, a sparrow feather. There's like a warehouse over here. I'm just going around and getting all the fast travel stuff right now. That's really all I'm doing. That wasn't really the reason I came over here. Were you here. thinking about going to tricks? Not yet. And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the Look at the, uh, look at the left. You see where it says 100% and then under that it has a bunch of, like, dotted lines? Uh, I think that over there, uh, they're going this to turn into, uh, moves. Every time that I have a feeling. hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? I do, but we need to look at vending machines. He did mention moves at the beginning of the game. I just don't think he can do them yet. This vending machine does not carry what God seeks. Let's move on, Zach. Okay. How about this one? 
I think we've got the wrong vending machine. Okay, well, let's try. Oh, that's the bridge, okay. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand, and Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened. Nah, Dick, I'm looking around. DC. We'll find it. They would have given the case to another Time. special agent, or maybe Meanwhile, even to the I can state. pick up the fast and travel points. Have found it. In the end, it would have been shut up in that vast, desolate evidence vault, along with all the other cases, marked by nothing but a first-degree murder tag, buried in a soggy grave at the bottom of a sea of data. That would have been its fate. Instead, it traveled from person to person until it finally fell right into our lap. Things always work out that way for us. We've traveled all over the United States trying to track down San Rouge. We can't let this chance pass us by, can we, Zach? We need to find some sort of clue before this southern sun melts it all away. Betting machine does not care what God sings. I, uh, I need that on a shirt. Say no merch. No merch until partner. When we get partner, we'll get hey, merch. Talk about bridges. No. Why? When we get merch, we'll get. Uh, or when we get partner, we'll get merch, but not before. Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. You do you. I'm sure if we look for it too long, I'll give up eventually. Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. You make skateboard. Z, thank you for getting sub to Haley. Haley, I hope you enjoy your emotes. I hope you enjoy your balloons. And please thank Nix. Um. Eventually, we got this. Oh, I found a trailer part. by rabid dogs. This I just got deep $200, south. dude. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? I have no idea why we can skate on the grass. Um, I seen uh, when... Around the time when I was, like, starting to look into, like, electric skateboard and stuff, because, like, I've just, like, accepted the reality that, like, I don't want to drive. Uh, um... I found out that you can get electric skateboards and uh, with like big ass bike tires. Whistle song? Yeah, they only have it in humming form. We've yet to have. Hey, they have whistle exactly. ones, Looks but like we, we, we right haven't got the like money. the full on. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand. You can kill dogs Lady money. Lux if you like. We don't kill dogs on this stream. This is a no dog before. killing stream. We just happened to hear news it's my about Lisa's my, murder. It's my one rule for myself. I cannot kill dogs. That's not allowed. Wouldn't That's have happened car. if we had stayed in DC. They would have given. The Boop. There, this is, this have a special detail because this is just a fucking nice ass car sitting on the side of the road that I haven't seen anywhere else. No. Now then, it's just sitting here, maybe for later. All right. Okay. Cool. I'll see you later. I guess. Wolf. get through here this looks like something i'd be able to interact with no okay maybe for later Four. but they give a lot of money i'll kill other things but i don't kill dogs hey want to talk about bridges why i've become obsessed with bridges zach and there's no turning, turning back, back now. now remember what we saw on our way here back when we were driving that hybrid car before we switched over to the skateboard we passed over the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the longest bridge over water in the entire world. 
Remember the sudden downpour that made it impossible for us to see the road? The rain was so torrential that we couldn't see more than a few miles ahead of us. I'm sure local drivers are used to that sort of thing. They were all going normal speeds. I bet that scene reminded you of a certain film, or perhaps a certain person. Violent Trump. City, 1970. Alexa, directed by Sergio Solino. I only ever saw it on TV when I was a kid, so I don't remember it very well. But I definitely like remember that it featured a bridge, no. a long bridge. Okay. During the New Orleans part, that's the one thing I remember. That bridge must have been the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. And the film starred Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. What an amazing sound. You couldn't possibly find another man whose name matches Fuck, his name guy... so perfectly. Yes, yes, of course I know that Charles Bronson isn't his real name. Charles Dennis Buczynski. That's his real name. But he's Bronson. Period. Zach, what's your favorite Bronson film? Death Wish? The Magnificent Seven? Alexa, Rider Death on Wish the Rain? The is, uh, Farewell Alexa, Friend? Alexa, add Rider. Masterpieces. Fuck. But to me, his greatest work I lies elsewhere. That's shopping. it, Zach. Thanks. No wonder we get along so well. I don't care what anyone else says. His greatest film by far. Alexa, add to 10 to midnight to the 1983, list. 1983, directed by J. Lee Thompson. To There's no to realism this. to be found in this movie, but that's what makes it so great. One might even call it a fantasy masterpiece. It was certainly filled with unprecedented fantasy compared to other police thrillers, that's for sure. You know, Zach, I'm suddenly getting the urge to watch it again. Let's hurry up and solve this case so that we can go rent the DVD. My watch list is fucking growing so much. Why do you do this to me? No spinach. Not a single can of spinach in sight, Zach. Let's try somewhere else. <gasps> Zach, we finally found our can of spinach. Look, Zach. Even this vending machine is managed by Clarkson Food Delivery Services. But who in their right mind would sell canned goods in a vending machine in the middle of nowhere? I only hope that it's not expired. Now we got our spinach. All that's left is fucking beans. And I'm thinking about those beans. Go back to the fucking, uh, the, um, hotel. Do the, uh, water quest. So, what do you think of him? Yes, I'm talking about him. Boondock. All of these the like little other side quests that fun. I have, I, I does he... Oh fucking shit, dude! <laughs> that was a fucking jump scare. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? It came out of nowhere. Jesus Christ! Whoa. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, uh, all these other fucking side quests about like the the killing the bees and stuff. It doesn't seem like I could do them yet. Seems like hey, I have the progression no, story to unlock. Just it. felt like saying that. Jesus fuck! It came out of nowhere. God damn! I don't like this. Anyway, you gotta walk at exactly that angle. Go. It's fucking your feet slapping the camera, dude. Sidewalk, please, I refuse. I am a vehicle. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand. And Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. Imagine if I died there and just like Lisa's blatantly murder. ended the game. Wait, so is this his car? Is this your car? Is this yours? I would like to purchase your vehicle, sire. Okay. It doesn't seem to value money that much. I'm gonna do the shower quest as soon as possible. Okay. Is that Mr. Libido? <laughs> it's a very different game. But at the same time, kind of similar. How do I start the quest? Because I, I tried to talk to him before, but it didn't start anything. I know that there's a valve in here. 
I have the quest because my shower wouldn't work. But when I tried to start it, it didn't work. Hey, I'll talk to him again. Hey, I David. sincerely hope you're having a comfortable stay, Mr. Morgan, sir. Good day, sir. I assume you are enjoying the esteemed water pressure of our hotel. Oh, okay, I figured it. Unfo oh, unfortunately, it seems like the shower in my room is broken. I'm deeply sorry to hear that, Mr. Morgan. I'll call a specialist and have this matter sorted out immediately. How long will it... Oh, how long will it take him to get here? Well, I'm certain they'll be here by next week. Next week? Yes, sir, by next week without a doubt. The hotel was built over 200 years ago. A very classical way, I might have. Therefore, any manner of repairs or adjustments I will require a very elite type of specialist. So I have to wait a week until... So I have to wait until next week for you to repair my shower. Indeed, sir. Can't you just put me in a different room? All rooms in a hotel share the same source of water. Are there any other hotels in town? Our hotel is the only one in Le Carre uh, capable of offering you a comfortable stay. But if you're in a bit of a hurry, you might be able to adjust the water valve on the third floor through the kitchen. Okay. Please let me know if there is anything else I may do to be of service, Mr. Sir. Wants me to adjust the water valve on the third floor on my own? Heck, is this a nightmare? As long as he doesn't ask you to go in the boiler room. If he asks you to go into the boiler room, you, you say no, and you leave the premises immediately. That's a no-go. Um, but if he asks you to just go, like, around the hotel, that's fine. But boiler room, no-go. Uh, there's scary, there's scary people down there. That's no-go. By people, I mean one people, one person. There's a water valve. That should do it. There's so many pipes that I'm not sure which one is right to touch, but I'm not about to let that stop me. I doubt that any hotel guest would ever complain about the shower presser being too strong. I don't know. I've had some pretty strong showers. Fucking pelts your back like bullets, dude. Jack, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. Okay. Thank you. I sincerely hey, hope you're having a comfortable. Scared me. What's up? What'd I do? What? What happened? I want to bake cookies, but everyone else in my house is asleep, so I don't want to be fucking around in the kitchen. That's fair. You'd be sorry, sir, but the shower specialist won't arrive yet. Try to adjust the water. Oh, I already tried to adjust the water valve on the third floor. I'll fix the shower? Exactly. It's what I'm talking to you right now. Unfortunately, I'm a mere concierge. All I can do now is wait for the special survival, perhaps. The chef or the better boy can help. Uh, you think of an alternative solution. Okay. What? You need a ride? Okay, I'll call her in a jiffy. Why, Vern? Fuck. Wait. Fuck. This isn't... It. Please. This isn't. Don't use the bell to open the menu. Never use the bell. I am never using the bells. Wyvern the Pokemon. It's like Uber. You need. To, you need to do it when he's not attending the desk. What? Are you, what? How 
How's the investigation coming? It's Must be going well, terrible. Your... Excuse me, I yawn. Thanks for calling me. Why, Vern? Then goodbye now. You want 60 bits? No, I refuse to accept your bits. Your bits, on the other hand, those I'll gladly take. But your bits, no. Okay. What is this? What is this? What is this clip? Let me look at it with my eyeballs. This is true. This is accurate. Thank you. What did the dude scare you? Is that what you mean? Wait, so how do I how do I how do I get him? Mr. Bellboy? Mr. Bellboy? I sincerely hope you're Fortunately, I'm a meal Perhaps a good bell for I sincerely Jolly good, sir. Do you another bell elsewhere? He's open at a certain time. Well, what the fear? I mean, I guess I got plenty of time, so fuck it. Go to the bellboy. 9.30 works for me. Wait, don't I have a thing? Can't do it through there. Toolbox. Don't do it through there either. Closet. No, I don't do it through there either. I don't remember where I equipped those. I think I have to go to the shop. 9.30. What was that? Was there before? It's like a shrine. You can customize your charm. Fuck is 9:30 in this fucking time? The fuck is 9:30 in this time? 9 plus 12? What's 9 plus 12? 9 plus 12? 21? You think I can do simple math? Come on. Who do you think I am? Help me, that's fine. More some math than you, and I can add 9 plus 12. Nah, dog, that's simple math. I can't. Oh, 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 oh! Can't do that. Sure is some sun out there, ain't it, boss? Hey, how you enjoying the shower pressing, boss? Sadly, I can't enjoy it. Get out of here! You ain't, it ain't working? The shower won't even give me water, let alone hot water. Well, that ain't right. But, boss, you gotta remember now. I'm just a measly bellboy. In times like these, we gotta wait till the concierge of ours to... Ah. What, did you just get an idea? Nah, I just, uh, remembered something that, 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 like this happened a while back, too. And it was all due to a problem with the water valve in the corner of the hall on the second floor. I think some numbskull tied into too much because they were worried about the water leaking out. Actually, uh, just forget that whole thing, okay, boss? Waiting for the concierge is the best thing to do in times like these, believe you or me. Someone tightened the water valve in the hallway on the second floor. Get ready for it to, to flex some muscles, Zach. Time to do some crimes. The second floor, is that over here? Yeah, it's over here. Alright, let's flex some muscles. Let's fucking go. Man, this used to be synced up once upon a time. Just as David said, the valve seemed to have been over-tightened. But we're good to go now. Made sure to loosen it a bit.
What's in this? Same old shit. Well, I'm down. Don't do that either. I need that for later, maybe. I don't know. Oh boy, first, I guess. Hi. Get the kanji out of the fixed out eventually, boss. You know, I already went and adjusted the water valve you told me about, and I did it all by myself, too. But the shower still won't give me any hot water. You gotta be kidding me! You'll just have to try asking the chef or the concierge for the help, then. I hate to say it, boss, but my hands will be tied. Sorry. Okay, well, I gotta wait till morning now. Bum, 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 bum. That one I know when he shows up. Go to like seven. I handle military time fine. I get messed up when people start getting fancy. Like, uh... Like, uh... Like a quarter past. Quarter past what? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't know. Fuck, I did it again. I did it again. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I hate that stuff. Just fucking say the time. Just say 12 o'clock. 12.30. 12.34. That's all you need. Don't fucking... Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Hey. Gonna be another hot one today. Hey, mister. How do you like our shower pressure? Just what the doctor ordered, ain't it? It appears that the shower in my room is broken. So there is currently no way for me to sample the water pressure that you seem to be so proud of. Hmm, is that so? I'm a chef, so anything other than food outside my, my jurisdiction. You're a true pro after all. But... I may be able to give a hint that'll help you fix this pressure of yours. Meaning... Might be something to do with the water valve near the bathroom on the first floor. That damn bellboy's supposed to be checking up on it, but he never follows it. I see, well then. Can you have him fix the valve? No can do, Mr. FBI. Stop trying to stroke my face! I'm a pro chef, which means I ain't gonna do jack squat outside of cooking with good genuine food. Then what should I do? An FBI agent, are you fixing the up a valve? Should be a piece of cake for a fellow like you. Zach, it looks like uh, we'll need to masquerade as plumbers for a bit. If I, we wish to enjoy a good shower here. Up to David, he's trying to do voodoo you. Voodoo, voodoo. Well, before we even go down there, let's get ourselves a snacky. But that's right, what you can get, but make sure you I'm, I'm a Francis. Woohoo! Get myself a little seafood platter. Get myself some good old seafood. Some good old seafood. Thanks, mister. Next time you get a hankering for old time Creole food, just stop on by. It's-a me, Special Agent Francis York Morgan. No lucky numbers from the coffee. Yeah, I don't know why they, there's no coffee in this game. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah, it kind of made me sound Swedish instead of Italian. Because it just didn't roll. Many valves, but so what? It didn't matter if I loosen them all at once. Besides, I'm not a plumber, so it's not my fault if something goes wrong. Back to the shower. Heck, look at this. This, this is what you call a shower. Any proper shower needs at least this much pressure, don't you agree? Went as far as masquerading as a plumber. All in order, experience this magical moment. 
Now we're free to shower those into. Okay. Still, I'm surprised that Trio had the gall to use an FBI agent as a shower repairman. Those three professionals are oh, far craftier than they let on. You notice uh, what they're up to, right? None of them want to be the one who calls the repairman. You know, they're all feigning ignorance to get me to adjust the valves instead. Such an entertaining town. Isn't that right, Zach? Zach, it's a bead. Placing the shower led us straight to a dazzling jewel. Which, what color? The bayou bead. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, sick. That's useful. Now I need to shave, too. That is very useful for later. Also, this. We have a lot more links to now. Um, oh, now we have PJ. Yeah. Eldest daughter on... Uh, yeah, they left. We know that they're connected somehow. Raven is just there. I assume Raven will be connected at some point. Cool, 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 cool. Uh... 